What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are back on the Betty account. We are here to make even more progress with these two heroes that we have. Natalie, not quite doing much for us right now, but is being a very good tenant so far. Uh, so we have that. We're going to jump into the void today. We've already pushed all the way to Defire 2. We're going to see if we can finish this out. Uh, if we can, that would be absolutely amazing. Like That would be super, super cool. Get to Vanquisher really early on. We have seven hours to go. We do have some protection and everything going. Uh, this is a big one. We really do need protection on areas one and two because of the reduction of energy. You know, energy is pretty important for this hero. So let's see if we have any of these planets with protection. Got a couple of them, however. Uh, ooh, that's... Might, might need to reroll some of these waves, including this one. I don't think we can just get away with this wave easily. <laughs> Because number one, the carries are probably going to be an issue. However, we do, I think, get to go first, which is a nice little bonus. Uh, we just need to avoid getting really stomped by the Garuda. That's just the big thing. That's going to be a very difficult thing to do. However, having these little baby carries in the lineup actually serves a very big purpose so that we can deal with those Garudas without much issue. Again, the carries are annoying just because they do have that energy stealing uh, and now we have no carries up. Oh, hit the wrong target. So it's definitely doable. We can definitely beat this planet without much trouble. Honestly, I'm going to throw another carry in here. And I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue to beat this wave. Especially if we can take out those Garudas very quickly. Uh, if they don't kill anybody, that gives us a good chance to maybe kill. Oh, no, we were actually horrified. Luckily, one of the carries hit the Garuda, which is good. I don't think any of our heroes are going to go down, so we still have a good chance to kill her off, maybe? Oh, this is so annoying. We're just getting basics. Come on, man. We got to kill this Garuda off. She isn't active. Everybody's silenced. Oh, man, the carries are going to just keep popping off. Like I said, though, there is a chance this can still work. <laughs> They're dodging. Um, we do have an active. It's just not quite enough. So I think with enough hits on this planet, we should be fine. Again, it's just going to be really annoying lining up the kill because of those carries. It's just dying, reviving. There we go. We get the W. Shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, again, we're going to have to try to go for protection on these, but we only have so many protections at our disposal. I guess if it's an easier planet, we could probably get away without even needing it. Killing that Garuda off immediately, please. Don't kill anybody. Don't kill anybody. Please don't kill anybody. We don't need that Garuda to heal. There we go. She goes down right here. Perfect. And that means we get a W, which is sweet. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be bad. I think we need to re-roll this planet. I don't, unless we can somehow kill those Mims off first. Carries are dodging, and we do have a strong enough train that uh, even our five stars are lasting pretty well, although they're going to start dying. Oh, it's so much destruction. However, I think it's doable without going for protection. Because as long as we have the round one CC, it might be all we need. Uh... Uh, maybe, nope. Oh, wait, <laughs> the carries revived and got us the W. That is huge. Let's try this one without any protection because if I can, like, save as many protection signets for area one, it would make me feel the safest. There's no Garuda either, so it doesn't really scare me too much. I think we're just good, even with the energy drain, even with the CC, because, of course, the horrified chance can be pretty up there. Um... I don't think they have a team that can actually kill us, though, is the thing. Like, even if we're just locked down, I guess the only thing that matters... No, there's no there's no round limit in Vortex, I don't believe. That's why we could do the Fiona, the Lacium, Magic Stone Sword Cheese back in the day. Oh, of course we're silenced the round we have full energy, right? Of course. Uh, we'll get the W here, though. That's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, this one could be tricky. We'll give it one attempt, but honestly, only if we can somehow kill those Garudas immediately. Okay, the carries didn't hit here. If everybody else hits her, that's perfect. Yes. Everybody keep hitting here. That gives more energy. Might get up. Oh, the, yeah, the energy drain at the end of the round. That's the problem. 
Oh, because now we don't get to hit. Granted, we do get another active off next. No, we don't because of this. Oh, it's such a struggle. Uh, let's try just re-rolling this one once or twice. That seems a lot more doable. Now, there is still a Garuda, which is a problem because that is the big damage dealer. But, like I said, we've been killing the Garudas round one. And once the Garuda's down, that spells victory for us. So, let's keep going. Let's get to Vanquisher right now. There's a bunch of carries there. I don't like it. We're actually giving everybody their gems here. Um, there is a Garuda, but once again, I don't think we need to worry about using a protection signet here. There is a penny though. We could blow up against the penny's armor. Actually, yeah, that's going to be bad because we're going to just die against the penny. So we'll hold off on that one. This one doesn't seem bad. There is a decent amount of crowd control. There is some energy drain heroes, but I think with only one mim, it's not too bad. At least I think. Again, not having the protection means we don't have much energy, which feels bad. We're going to have to go with basics a lot. And like I said, there's, there's two other heroes that are energy draining. We might be able to pull this off, though. Mm, it seems like it's just a little too much damage. I think we have to somehow kill that Mim off, like, immediately. Uh, let's, uh, let's, again, hold off on that one. I want the more difficult ones to be the ones. We actually have protection on this one. Well, it might be a little easier for us. Again, we got to try to kill that Garuda round one. If we don't kill the Garuda round one, it makes things so much more difficult. Y'all just need to not hit her with energy drains, please. Perfect. Get more damage out. Get, oh, yes, we took out the Garuda. I think we got the W there. Yep, yep, yep. Once we get the Garuda down, it's pretty much cheese. Uh, again, like I was saying, if for some reason we can kill this Garuda round one, we have a very high chance of doing this. Our carries hit the Garuda, which was really good as well. Three carries is a lot of energy drain to deal with, though. That's a lot of RNG we have to beat out. I wonder what happens here. If she gains the energy? Nope, she doesn't do her passive first. Uh, and the Garuda is going to slowly build up the energy, and then we're going to die. So let's reroll this planet. That is much better. That is a very easy clear from the looks of it. Taking out those two Russells almost immediately. We do have protection, so we're not going to lose nearly as much energy or any at all. We can get to CC them. They will go in the air and get some damage reduction, but I think our next active... Ooh, not going to get another active, huh? That one Russell might melt our team. Oh, the Ignis is healing them for so much. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Russell Ping damage is not a joke. We do get an active off. It's not quite enough. And again, we have to deal with the ping damage, which is really bad for us. Really, really bad. We're going to have to spend a little gems, but we are definitely going to get to Vanquisher here today, I swear. Kill those Russells. No. Actually, let's kill the Ignis. Never mind. I take it back. Ignis heals for so freaking much. Man, we need to get full energy here. There we go. Get another hit off, and then we have an active skill this round. One of the Russells down. That's really good. Again, though, they're still pinging, and Russells are very deadly with that. We get another active. Yes! Okay, we get the W. That is what we needed. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure about that penny just yet. This one, I think if we just get protection, we'll be fine. I'm trying to just save as many gems as possible at this point. Um, you take out the Mim, that would be cool. There we go. Get another hit off here. Maybe get some energy. No, we're getting drained energy is what we're doing. But it seems to have worked. Now we're just down to a carry and an Ada. I would imagine we do okay here. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Um, We do technically have protection on this planet. Maybe we can get through this without spending any more gems, literally. Uh, the Garuda's awfully low here. We can get enough energy next round with the basic. Garuda is dead. There she goes. Perfect timing. I was a little sketchy. It was really close to each other. <laughs> uh, see if we can get some more energy here. Nope, she died. My goodness. So it's definitely possible. Uh, we are going to have to probably send a few attempts in on this one. 
to get a victory. We might be able to beat the other one too if we can just burst the penny down. Yep, there we go there. And then we'll do protection and we'll see if we can beat this with our two attacks. If not, we might reroll this planet. Garuda looks like she's going to go down next round. Same with the Aspen, but the Penny Reflect Armor becomes an issue. It's like we might kill the Penny here, but the Reflect Armor is going to nuke us. So uh, let's do five additional ones here. Let's reroll. Ah, that's perfect. I don't even think we got to watch this one. I think this is just a skip button victory. And there we go. We are on to Vanquisher. More gems coming our way. Uh, I wonder if we can beat one of these pretty easily. Without re-rolling. Probably this one. We'll buy one of these and we'll get protection. And we'll go in on Vanquisher. Question is, are they faster? No, they are not. So we're still in a really good spot here. They do have a rustle in this wave and the Mim, but there's no carries, which I absolutely love. Let's uh, see if we can beat this real quick. Maybe with this active. Oh, we get nuked. <laughs> Apologies on that. A lot of you guys know I got a Husky. Was not prepared for the wife and the Husky to be home right now, and I just had the doors wide open. So you guys got to hear the mascot of this channel, Mika. <laughs> You guys didn't know that's why the Husky logo image for Barry Gaming, for those of you who are newer fans, that, that's pretty much where it was inspired from for Mika. And looks like we are going to get one of these cleared out, which is kind of important. Because I'm going to show you guys right here. When you do get one node cleared out, you get the higher tier of rewards for Vanquisher. So we're in Vanquisher. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.